So after halftime, you don't come out with that same urgency. Has that been addressed at all, or does, does that feel like that's something that's been happening? No, oh, it's just it, it's a part of uh, part of the year. You know, it's it's not anything we do on purpose. We always talk about, hey, let's hit first, score zero zero. Um, it, it's it's sometimes it happens that way, and you hope it doesn't. And you hope that you can change it. There are times when we come out in a third, and we've had great third quarters. And uh, it's all part of the learning, growing experience that we're going through right now. And, and hopefully we'll have less and less of those as we go forward. Yeah, Coach, I think since Malik's gone down, you guys are first in three-point attempts and also gotten about uh, 50 more free throws on career opponents during that time. How do you feel like your guys' rim pressure has been since that? And uh, what's the key to maintaining that? Malik, <clears throat> he was a big part of, uh, of our ability to get downhill and attack the rim. Um, and, you know, uh, without him, we're still searching for that a little bit. And, uh, you know, it hasn't been great, but, I mean, I'm playing guys that are, are trying to figure it out, you know. Sasha hasn't played in a while, but he's not a guy that's going to get downhill. Keon's a young guy that probably won't get downhill much. Uh, same with Colby. Um, you know, HB can do that to a certain degree. Uh, Trey hasn't done it his most throughout his career, you know. Um, Foxy obviously can do it, so we we you know we got to keep trying to do it, but not at the detriment. Uh, I mean, I like in Oklahoma City game, we we shot worse from two to three. Our two point field goal percentage in that game was thirty four point two, you know, and our three point field goal percentage in that game was a 35 point, excuse me, 34 point five, so it was a little higher. So, you know, if we can get downhill, the best way to do it for us with the group we have is to start moving the defense, whether it's by ball reversal or an initial attack, get off of it. Now, closeout happens. Now, snap drive, and Davion got one. Uh, it, I mean, it, we had a beautiful spread game against Oklahoma City. Uh, Davion got a snap drive and, and one um, right in front of our bench in the first half. And if we can get more, if we can generate more of those, then I think, it, you know, hopefully that will increase our opportunity to not only get to the rim, but to finish also when we get there. Yeah, Mike, it seems like without Malik, uh, Domas is really having, a tr is having trouble getting like those three or four easy buckets in motion, yeah. like going to the rim and the pick and roll. How do you find that, whether it's De'Aaron or it's somebody else that can possibly replicate some of what Malik does, and, and how much does Domas need that? Well, it, I mean, he, you know, it's obvious that, that uh, you know, that we miss Malik in a lot of different ways, but, um, you know, that is one for Domas. You, Domas, like you said, got three or four buckets a game just with, Malik going downhill and all the attention that he caused and Domas hitting him in the pocket, Domas being able to have that momentum to get downhill and to finish through the defense. And, you know, the reality of it is um, we haven't quite found anybody, you know, to be able to uh, replicate, I think, that. I think that's the right word. But, but we're searching. And that's part of the reason why, you know, I kind of am giving Kobe a chance. Uh, he might be able to get down. He's shown he can get downhill. He's shown he can hit the pocket. Um, Keegan, that part of his game, he's just learning. And you, you can tell watching him that it's not who he is or what he does. Um, Fox can do it to a certain degree. Uh, but we also need Fox to be aggressive, too. And, you know, he can't be a passer when he gets to his sweet spot. So uh, that, that, that is definitely part of of uh, what uh, we're searching for and, you know, somebody in time will develop it or show that they can do it. And, and not only will it help Thomas out, it'll help us all out uh, if we can have that. Uh, Coach Brown, going back to uh, Kobe Jones, you've been yeah. giving him some uh, significant minutes, at least since uh, the Boston Celtics game. You just mentioned, you know, you'd like to see him go downhill a little bit more, but when did you get to that point where you like, you know, I'm going to start using him uh, where he started earning minutes in your eyes? Well, you know, throughout the course of the year and watching him in the G League, you know, you see some things that you like that uh, he, he's able to do that you feel like it, it can add more to uh, 
to the Sacramento Kings. And, you know, it was hard, you know, because you have Kobe, but the, you got Kevin, you got Malik sitting there, and then you have some other you know, players that have played in the league behind those guys, and then you have Kobe, so it's hard to kind of throw them in there. And, you know, in Boston, we were down big, and, you know, we had talked about it in the past, but I obviously never pulled the trigger. And, we're down big against Boston, and, and I've always wanted to see what Kobe would look like with, uh, you know, with, with starters or guys that play heavy minutes. And for me, I'm like, hey, this is an opportune time, you know. And so I'll throw him out there, see what he can do, and see if he's afraid of the moment. And uh, I thought he played well. He wasn't afraid of the moment. He was active for us defensively, active offensively. He got out in transition and made some plays. And so I said, you know what? The, I'm going to keep giving them an opportunity because I, I can't remember who said earlier, you know, we we need guys who are able to get downhill and create for themselves at the rim or uh, or in the paint or or for their teammates. And, uh, and then a guy that can play the DHO game with a pick and roll game. And, you know, Kobe's young and, and all that other stuff, but he's shown some flashes of it in practice and he's shown some flashes of it uh, in the G League. Hey Mike. Um, fifth time playing the Pelicans, obviously had their your number of goals in those first yeah. four games. What in preparing for this game or just, you know, what you learned through those first four, what, what are you guys seeing in terms of why that matchup has been problematic for you guys and, and is there, you know, is there any just adjustment you can make going into tonight's game that might help that? Yeah, I mean it's it's gonna be similar to last night's game. I mean you know, Oklahoma City uh, they're very good uh, in, in terms of rim rate, the opponent, opponent's rim rate. And I think these guys might be second in the league in terms of opponent's rim rate, so they really packed the, the, the paint, and uh, they're going to give up the three. And, and um, you know, at the end of the day, you, we have to take whatever shot we can generate. And, you know, Trey shoots 38% from the floor, from the three. HB shoots 38% from the three. Davion's been shooting it well. And Keegan has shown he can shoot it. And, you know, those guys shot 19% on wide open shots against Oklahoma City. You know, Foxy and, and, and Keon were combined. They shot 32, but they were combined 47% from the three. So um, if if that's what's available, then, then they got to step in and take it. And I got to live with the result. Uh, or not I, we have to, you know, not you guys, but we, me and, me and the team, have to live with the results because. I, I thought we had some, some man. I thought we had some great looks against Oklahoma City. So it's it's, it's similar. We're going to have to move the ball. We're going to have to touch the paint. And if you have the ability to finish, especially off of a snap drive like Davion did and finish through contact, one hundred percent do it. Uh, but if you draw two guys or three guys, uh, you got to kick it. And now that guy's got to shoot it. He's got to snap drive or he's got to swing it. But it's it's, it's got to be quick. We got to get out and transition against these guys because. Uh, their length and their athleticism and uh, you know the size of Valanciunas at the rim and the way they play it's going to make it tough and and then you know they they have two guys that uh, are long and athletic that do a, a great job of, of playing uh, tag team against Fox and trying to trying to deny them and make them work in, in, in Daniels and, and Jones <clears throat> and so you know other guys are going to have to step up and and help Foxy out, whether it's by initiating the offense or making plays, and then we got to try to get Foxy off the ball, so we got to keep trying to move him around um, so that uh, he can, we can give them different looks. And then, and then defensively, you know, uh, we have to, you know, do a job in transition. We have to do a job in isolation. Uh, we have to do a job at the three-point line. Mike.